happening guys Chris VA travels back down here Charles City kind of my home away from home uh, visiting a, another one of these plantation houses and this is North Bend just north of the James River <clears throat> this one goes back to 18 I'm sorry uh, it was built between 1799 and 1801 and if you hop on Wikipedia I think it's gonna tell you uh, 1820s yeah I just took the house tour the lady uh, had told me it's much older than that and yeah, I took the house tour, no, no filming inside, so this is gonna be kind of a short video, just gonna do a walk around. Oh, until you know, if you do come, uh, the tour is $12. Yeah, you'll wanna call in advance. So, but yeah, just to tell you a little bit about the inside, uh, yeah, just a lot of old furniture. Highlights would be a couple, two nice uh, shift rows uh, upstairs that had to have been built in the house, they, they were so big. Um, there was an old uh, telephone, one of those uh, crank uh, crank telephones where you have to hold the earpiece up to your ear. Mm, that was pretty neat. Oh, General Philip Sheraton, uh, Union officer, uh, stayed here for three nights. His bedroom's upstairs, and the desk he used is still in the house. That was definitely a, a highlight. Yeah, a lot of history uh, built by John Minge, M-I-N-G-E. And he bought it for his wife, Sarah Harrison. That would be the sister of our ninth president, William Henry Harrison, uh, daughter of Benjamin Harrison. And yeah, the lady inside was real nice. She actually told me a story about a 15 minute story about that, uh, that, that telephone. It was kind of interesting, but a lot of history. She actually happens to be from Fredericksburg. Her father was mayor of Fredericksburg and her grandfather, uh, also mayor of Fredericksburg. And uh, oh, also the Ruffins. Um, her husband is the great grandson of Edward Ruffin. He was the one who's uh, famously fired the first shots of the Civil War. And uh, it was also owned at one time by the Wilcox family. Her husband also is the descendant of the Wilcox. I'll tell you something. Uh, he didn't believe in slavery and he freed his slaves in 1848. So that was kind of a, a neat story. Anyway, all right, I'm going to take a walk around. I saw a plaque over there. Take a look at that. Over here are a couple of outbuildings. Okay, so like I said, headquarters for General Philip Sheridan. Stayed here for about three nights. Uh, stayed here as they waited for pontoon bridges. And it, yeah, if you could picture this place at the time, 30,000 Union troops camped out here. And yeah, they ended up crossing on pontoon bridges, uh, maybe about a half a mile upriver, kind of headed west. And then about three miles upriver at this Wilcox Landing. Uh, that's where they crossed on, on ferries. So here, here we are at North Bend, <laughs> and yeah, pontoon bridge right here. All the other big plantations, Westover, Evelynton, yeah, Shirley. And this is one of the original settlements uh, back early 1600s, Flower Dew 100. So yeah, here we go, Petersburg. So yeah, a couple old, it looks like there's a picture, pontoon bridge right there, and a uh, photo from 1920. So, pretty neat. Yeah. Walk over to these outbuildings. Okay, walking over to the smokehouse and dairy. And then there's supposed to be an ice house in between. I think I see the top of it. Yeah, brick circle over there. And down there is, she said, Queens Creek. And then behind it, the James River. Um, there was a cow field out there. So check out the smokehouse. Wow, strong smell in here. Trough right there. Um, okay, there's a really old photo. 1916. Uh, slave quarters. Overseer's house. Dairy house. Keeping food on the old plantation, smokehouse and ice house. Oh, something hanging right there. 
Very, very old. Uh, looks like it was a piece of meat. <laughs> it's been there forever. All right. Lock this back up. Okay, yeah, ice house. Obviously the well right there. And this is the dairy. And there was a, a slave named Old Joe who worked the dairy, she said. Old piece of equipment right there, self-oiling. Yeah, see brick bottom going around there. Hmm. Dairy House, 1819. I was kept in here, cool. Some old tools right here. Buckets. A horseshoe. Yeah. It's definitely cooler in there. All right, take a walk around the back of this thing. Oh yeah, the uh, the well. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, like I say, this place serves as a B and B. On the other side of the fence is a saltwater swimming swimming pool. Flowers over here dying out. Of course, you've got the millstone, and this is the back of North Bend. All right, so there's supposed to be the remains of the kitchen back over here. It can't be too far from the house, but. Yeah, it was standing up until about 10 years ago. A hurricane came through, knocked a tree over, and she said a tree fell and ended up, ended up rolling over it. So I'm kind of assuming maybe it's, it's kind of down this hill. Um, she said you could see the kind of the brick base. Um, not really seeing anything, but yeah, anyway, so the kitchen was over here. Uh, walk up around the house here. A uh, big old cedar tree right there. Yeah, not seeing any part of the kitchen. Um, I don't know what this is. But here's the east side of the house. And just take a walk around the front. Uh, tree's got a couple of flowers bloomed on it. All right, guys, that's it for North Bend. Just a quick one. Just wanted to uh, stop by, show this place off. Uh, as always, like and subscribe. See ya.